So how are we doing, everyone? I'm Dario, and this is Media Box CNC. But I want to show you today what is the difference between these three menus. You just modify your switch. You get this, and it says, okay, now I want to enjoy it. You just go here, and you start thinking, okay, what I should I use? If I press this, I should press semi-stock custom firmware or the custom firmware emulation. Well, there is a difference. Let's go to the first one. Pretty simple. You want to use your switch as your the way you used to be. You want to go online, you want to play online games, you want to go and download your games, buy new games, update your games, or it's the same stock. You want to just go and play your, uh, your games right there, put the cartridge, and then you can just play it right there and allow you to go to online and do your thing. But be aware, if you make any modification to the semi stock, because they already said semi stock, so you can make a modification there. It will get bent out. You're not supposed to install anything that is in a normal switch. You cannot go and install a hundred there or you know, make a make a, a cheat in the game or something that is out of the normal stock um, switch. You will get bent no matter what. So whatever you do there, you do it as the original. And you're not going to make any change. You're not going to do anything crazy or any tiny modification because that will connect to Nintendo next time you turn it on. And then you're done in the next 24 hours. Now, then what is the difference between the custom firmware and the emulation custom firmware? Custom firmware is kind of semi-stock, but with all the home drew applications. It means you can run whatever you want there. Whatever you download now, you can you know run the original games, you can run anything out of there. With the difference now than this one. It will get connect to uh, Nintendo. Now you can say, "Well, I can block it." And sure, you can just run it and run. You should run if you this one. You should run it in airplane mode. But soon you take the airplane mode, you're done. Now why? Because this one has all the mods, all the modification, different teams you're running. You just run in. You just run it like full mod. And so what is it different then to run it from format than run an emulation? Well, what happened in this one, anything you do, it will get right into your hardware. It will just, not into the system card, it will just go and write it right into the NAM chip. It means it will record all the information right into the chips inside the switch. And... How you reset that, oh, that will be a different story. And something goes wrong, you can break your switch. So if you put something, there is something went wrong, and you break it, and then you don't. So there is any reason to run it there? I don't think it's in any reason to run it there. I will not run it there. The only way I will run it right over there, if you switch, just got banned. Got banned, and I just run it there. Who cares? If you got a switch is already banned, that's the way I should run it. Now, what is it different then with the emulation? Well, the emulation, what happens is it runs right onto the micro SD card. So all the systems, all the errors, everything you do, it gets into the system card, into the micro SD card. So you can remove the micro SD card, you can reverse everything, and nothing happened. It's just like you didn't, there is no change done physically into the hardware of your Nintendo Switch. So it's very important. Now, can you play online games there? No. You're not going to be able to play any online games, any of the original games. No. Can you download and upload your games? No. If it's connected to Nintendo, no. Why? Because it's been blocked. If you did it right, it's been blocked all the DNS. So sure, you can go online. You can go to all the stores and download and do whatever you want, browse and do anything there. You can do anything you want. But it will never connect. So can you play online games? No. As long as if the original games you play online normally, no. And if you like to play online games all the time, I won't even modify the switch to start off. Because you're going to have to go to the semi-stack. And then if you want to play it offline, then you have to go that way. So why people then use this versus this? Well, I think maybe this is faster. It will not record into the micro SD card. It's just called pure hardware. And it should go faster. That's why the very important is make sure you use a fast micro SD card. So I hope this helped. What is the difference? 
So again, if you want to play original game, simple. Just go there. Do not do anything now. Just do like your normal thing you did the last whatever five years or whatever since you own your Switch. Now, you want to go a little crazy and eventually you get banned. It's right there and you obligate yourself to be in in airplane mode or be offline 24 hours. Soon you take that thing out, you're done. My recommendation, go that way, play your games, copy your games, do whatever you want as a normal switch. Plus you can run all your programs. It's an emulation, nothing will happen. I will think 90% of the people are right there. Now, if you switch got banned, then I will say, just go right there and just use it. Who cares at that point, right? So once again, I'm Dario. This is Media Box ENT. And if you have any questions or doubts, hey, leave me a comment. See you next time.